Hello and welcome to the ChessCreator.com YouTube video channel. In today's video I would like to introduce an opening called the London System. This video is just to provide some basic information and in future videos I'll go into more detailed lines. If you know anything about the London System you may have read that it's boring dull and not played at grandmaster level. Well I hope through this series of videos you will come to change your opinion on this and in terms of previous exponents the London system has been played by people such as Alakine, Retty, Tarash, Spassky and even Gary Kasparov and in future videos I will outline some of these games. So, in today's video, I'm just going to show the basic formation. This is a white opening for white, a queen's pawn opening that begins with d4. For the purpose of this video, I've chosen a particular move order, but as this is a system opening, there is some flexibility in the move order, so please focus more on the placement of the pieces as opposed to the strict move order. The beauty of the London system is that with a slight adaptation of the move order it can be played against the King's Indian defence, the Queen's Indian defence, the Dutch defence and many other standard replies by black against the Queen's pawn game. It also offers the ability to castle kingside, queenside and in many cases not castle at all simply by moving the King in the later part of the mid middle game to a square such as e2 or f2. So d5, knight f3, knight f6, bishop f4 and it's the combination of a knight on f3 and an early bishop f4 that are two of the trademark moves in the London system. White activates his dark square bishop which can sometimes be a problem piece and places it on the h2 to c7 diagonal another thematic move e3 e3 allows white to develop the light square bishop either to e2 the most common square being d3 or in some variations which lead into a queen's gambit line to c4. c5, bishop d3, bishop e7, knight bd2, knight c6, c3. Another familiar theme of the London system is this pawn triangle with pawns on c3, d4 and e3 giving white a very very solid center. b6 h3 h3 is another common move in the London system. If black plays knight h5 to threaten the bishop, h2 is a nice place for the bishop to retreat and maintain itself on the h2 to b8 diagonal where it can really create nagging pressure. So in basic terms what you have in front of you is kind of the classic London system setup. When people talk about the London system this is the diagram that is often appears in the books as to one of the most common setups. So let's look at the pieces. Knights on f3 and d2 which protect each other. The knight on f3 can easily reroute to g5 or e5 to combine in some kind of mating attack particularly with g5 in conjunction with the bishop. 
attacking h7. The queen has simple development 2, sometimes to c2, forming a queen and bishop battering ram, again focused on h7. Once the queen moves either to c2 or to e2, this facilitates kingside or queenside castling. So it's a very flexible system. Another thing to mention, and which I'll be touching on in future videos, is the relationship between the London system and other D pawn setups, such as the Collie system and the Stonewall attack formation. It's possible to transition to and from those, from a London system and vice versa. And combined, this gives white quite a flexible, simple to understand repertoire suitable for players even up to club level. So I hope this has been a useful introduction. In future videos I will go into more detail, specific lines depending upon black responses and also cover some exciting games in the London system. If you haven't come across this opening before I encourage you to do some internet research. There are some excellent resources online just type in London System Chess into Google and follow the links. In the meantime, I hope this has been a useful introduction. Please consider subscribing. It's free and you'll be notified of future videos. And in the meantime, I wish you good luck with your chess. And if you have comments or questions, please leave them for me on YouTube. Thank you for your time.